And on the driver's side, I want to go ahead and pull the spark plug boot right here and the one right in front of it. Going to use some wire pliers right here. Grab that boot and gently wiggle it. Pop that out. I want to go for the back one. Once those are loose, we're going to go ahead and remove both of the wires from the wire loom and just pull those back. Using a 5.8 spark plug socket, a swivel, and a short extension, let's go ahead in and remove that forward spark plug. Take our new spark plug, push that into the boot so it locks it in. And we'll go ahead and set the new plug down and in. And just thread that in as far as you can and then we'll repeat for the forward plug. I'm gonna go ahead and snug these down. I'm going to go ahead and torque these down to 15 foot-pounds. Repeat for the rear plug. I'll go ahead and feed one of the boots through. Line that up. We're going to feed our wire into our loom. Get that into our connectors and we'll go ahead and press our boot down inside. Once that's on, go ahead and repeat for the rearward plug. Go ahead and use your pry tool to go ahead and get underneath these little front retainer buttons. Pop this out and do the one beside it. Grab this part here and set it aside. At the bottom of the air box, you wanna go ahead and remove this 10 millimeter bolt. On the front behind the passenger side headlight, there is a 10 millimeter nut right here on the stud that is securing the air box. We're gonna go ahead and remove that nut. Next, let's go ahead and go to our sensor right here. We're going to disconnect this. Next will be to go to the air box clips. Pop these off. With that separated now, let's go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver and remove or loosen the clamp for the air intake tube. side. Go ahead and pull out the rest of the air box and set that aside. Going to use our wire pliers here and grab that front boot, pull that out. Do the same for the rear. Remove our wires from our retainer here. Mm. 
Now our spark plugs are soaked in oil. If you're experiencing something like this here, it's usually going to be the O-ring seals down here on the valve cover. And that seals the engine oil from getting into the cylinder here for the spark plug. Just going to pull that valve cover off and replace those seals. And go ahead and get your spark plug lined up and lower that down inside. I'll go ahead and thread these in as far as I can by hand. I'll do the same for the back one and then we'll snug them down. I'll go ahead and torque these plugs down to 15 foot pounds. Feed this down. Feed it into the cylinder and then press it in. Let's go ahead and lower down box unit here. I want to go ahead and get the stud lined up and put in there. Next we're going to go ahead and take our little bolt here. We're going to feed it down into the rubber grommet. want to get this lined up and get the bolt started. I want to go ahead and get our 10 millimeter nut started on this upper stud. All right, let's go ahead and lower down our cover here. Now there are two tabs on the bottom that fit into the lower part of the box down below. Feed that down. Go ahead and clamp our clamps up top. Was lined up and installed. At this point here, we can go ahead and start to tighten things down. All right, just going to snug that down. Now, go ahead and hook up our map sensor, press it on and you hear it click into place. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten our lower bolt here. Now once you've test fired the vehicle and you made sure everything is okay, you can now go ahead and install your intake unit right here. Line that up. Go ahead and put in your push pins. Put that in. 